Welcome to Sage Pastel Petals video that will illustrate how to upload payslips to the self service website. In order to upload the payslips, you need to ensure that your employees have been processed. You can check this by utility system status. If they are not processed, you can do the payroll run for these employees. Once all the employees have been processed, you can upload the payslips in one of three ways. If Auto Upload was selected in the Setup Self Service profile, then the payslips will automatically update once doing the pay period update. Uploading the payslips via the Payroll Run. Navigate to Process Payroll Run. Select Self Service Payslips. Filter for your employees and continue with the payroll run process. Uploading the payslips via the reprint payslips option. Navigate to view, payroll reports and select reprint payslips at the bottom of the section. Filter for the employees and then click on OK. Click on the Print To drop down and select Self Service. You can select the period you want to upload for and then you can click on OK. Remember that the sync process is not an instant process and will take about an hour for the upload to be done. The administrator can check if the payslips are available for the employees by navigating to the Manager tab. Click on Manage for one of your employees. Click on View Payslips and you will see if the payslips have been uploaded. Once the payslips are showing, the administrator can send the payslip notifications. Click on Admin and select Payslip Notifications. You can either notify one by one, or select all the employees and notify all of the selected employees. Only employees with email addresses entered will receive the payslip notification. Once the notifications has been sent, the employees will receive an email from HR Self Service at sagesouthafrica.co.za with the subject line Self Service Payslips Uploaded. The employee can now log into the Self Service website. They will locate their payslips under the Personal Profile section, under the Payslip selection. The payslips can be downloaded from this screen. The payslips will all be password protected. The password will be the password on the Contacts tab of the Personal section on the Master file. If the payslip password is blank, the password will automatically be the same as the employee's ID number. If the employee does not have an ID number, it will be the same as the passport number. If the employee does not have a passport number, then it will be the same as this employee's date of birth. The date of birth format will be the same as the format in the Pastel Payroll system. Thank you for watching our video. Reach out to us on our SouthHelp platforms.